I'm Ngozi Okonji Wala, Director General of the World Trade Organization and former Finance Minister of Nigeria. As the holder of an honorary LSE doctorate, I like to think I'm part of the school community. Making it to one of the world's leading educational institutions is an accomplishment in itself. So, congratulations. An exciting intellectual and personal journey awaits you at LSC. You will have the opportunity to study an incredible array of subjects. You will exchange ideas with some of the most brilliant people around from all walks of life and of course your fellow students and future friends who have come to LSC from all over the world. Make the most of it. Stay curious. Discover new thinking and new passions. Go to officers and public lectures. Argue, but listen. Do your reading. Get involved in community service. Remember to have fun in the classroom and outside it. Some of the most positive global trends of recent decades have been thrown into reverse during the past three years. Solving these problems is the challenge of the decades ahead. Effective responses demand international cooperation, but the supply of such cooperation has been falling short of what we need. That needs to change. There is cause for optimism too. We've all witnessed the remarkable developments with artificial intelligence and mRNA. The energy crisis has accelerated investment in renewables, but technological breakthroughs alone are insufficient. Vaccines are only as good as the number of people that have access to them. Green tech can only help to get us to net zero if it is widely diffused. Innovations that increase our productivity and decrease our environmental footprint are sorely needed. The history of the 19th and 20th centuries reminds us that for the gains from technology to be widely shared and not just concentrated within the hands of a fortunate few, we need to build the right social, economic and political institutions. Whether you go on to work in the public, private or non-governmental sectors, you will be at the heart of building a 21st century economy that puts people and the planet at its center. This goes back to LSE's founding purpose, to contribute to the betterment of society. I know from my own experience that disrupting the status quo doesn't earn you friends. You will need more than good ideas. You will need compelling narratives, broad coalitions, and a bit of luck. Let me close by adapting a line from George Bernard Shaw, one of LSE's intellectual founders. Look for the circumstances you want, and if you can't find them, make them. When you get to LSE, know that you belong because you competed and you worked so hard to get here. LSE is waiting for you just as you're waiting for LSE. Relax and enjoy it.